Hello Pop Shopkins. Today in this video I'm going to be telling you five islands from the original Pop Tropica that I think should come back to Pop Tropica Worlds. You know how 24 Karat Island, a island in the original Pop Tropica, got a remake in Pop Tropica World? Well, I'm hoping the same thing happens to other really good islands in the original Pop Tropica as well. Mainly because I want the new players of Pop Tropical World to experience such great islands. The islands included in this video will be based on how great the island is and how remaking it would make the island so much more better. So, let's begin the countdown. Number 5, Super Power Island. Super Power Island is one of the oldest Pop Tropica islands ever, but I think it deserves to come back to Pop Tropical World. Super Power Island starts off with all the Pop Tropicans worried because a meteorite with superpowers hits the prison, letting the prisoners escape, and giving them superpowers. Then you get a superhero ID and special handcuffs that are supposed to remove the prisoners' powers. Then you go off fighting every prisoner through various different ways. After capturing all the prisoners, you are handed with the Island Medallion, and Super Power Island ends. Super Power Island would be a cool island to add to Pop Tropica World, because the Pop Tropica creators can like change a few of the prisoners' minigames to make them more fun. Also, another suggestion to the creators is to maybe you have to do some sort of superhero training in order to become a superhero. Then you fight the prisoners. Because in the original Pop Tropica, you just get a superhero ID and you are like super strong. Also another change could be maybe the anti-power handcuffs could be something else like anti-power whip or maybe you wear your anti-power gloves or something. But whatever you do, creators, please keep the part where Ned Noodlehead gets the medallion, but he wants to look after his sh comic shop and does not want to become a superhero, so he gives you the medallion in trade for a hot dog. I remember when I played Superpower Island around when I was six years old, and that part always just got me because it was just so funny how he would rather have a hot dog over a medal. But if you creators ever decide to remake this island, you can obviously change the medallion into a trophy as Pop Tropica World rewards players with a trophy for completing an island instead of a medallion. Number 4, Astronauts Island. I really hope that Pop Tropical Worlds does not have all the islands, like, the same difficulty. Like, the thing is, Crisis Caverns and 24 Karat Island have the same island difficulty. I hope that Pop Tropical Worlds has a variety of islands that have a variety of different difficulties. Like, some islands can take 10 minutes, and some islands will take 30 minutes. And like really hard islands would take like 40 minutes to an hour. If you Pop Tropica creators cannot think of an island and a long one, just remake Astronite's Island. Astronite's Island is one of the hardest Pop Tropica islands ever. And I think it has a lot of potential to be remade very well. To summarize Astronite's Island, you start by doing a bunch of stuff. Also finding out what happened to the town and how the princess got captured and stuff like that. Soon, you will find yourself having a robotic owl named Merlin and a fuel rod. Then you use the fuel rod to power up a UFO and the UFO takes you to the moon. Then you build yourself a rocket and travel to all three planets to try and find the princess. But the princess is not found in any of the planets. Instead, you end up taking the knights who were looking for the princess. Once you visit all three of the planets, 
you go to the crystal gate where the princess might be. Then when you go there, you find the princess, and the princess tells you to give all the weapons you use to find the princess. Turns out, it was Blenny Bird, and uses the weapons to make a powerful fighting robot. After you destroy the robot, you save the princess, and the island is over. There's lots of ideas that the Pop Tropica creators could do if they ever decide to remake Asher Knight's Island. But I will go over some ideas I have in mind. First, let Merlin the Robotic Owl have some more roles. If you think about it, Merlin only has two roles in Astronite's Island. First, to get the Fuel Rod, and to fight Binary Bard. Maybe in the remake, you get Merlin more early on in the island, and Merlin could have some more roles, like... Maybe you need Merlin to go through a small tunnel to get an item or something like that. Another change that could happen is maybe when you go to the three planets, you try and save the knights as in Ashenite's Island you are defeating the bosses in order to see if they have the princess. Maybe in Pop Tropical World, the knights are captured by the bosses in each planet and you have to try and save them. The final idea I have if Asher Knight comes back to Pop Tropical Worlds is that you know how Binary Bard captured the princess because he wanted to rule the universe as king and wanted to make the princess his wife? Well, maybe in the remake Binary Bard captures the princess because he was very mad for being put in prison and wanted to cause some misery to the king and queen. Number 3, Reality TV Island. This was the 11th island to be released to Pop Tropka and it is kind of a unique island to play. Mainly what was so unique about Reality TV Island is that the main focus of this island was playing mini games. Like sure, the first 5 to 10 minutes of the island is not really playing mini games. It's pretty much getting into a reality TV game show and how you do that is by getting a tabloid and finding an application for the reality TV game show. Then, in order to mail it, you need to find a stamp. And how you do that is you order pizza to Pucky's motel room number. Then you give the pizza to Bucky and ask him for a stamp. Then you put the stamp on the application and mail it and you get on Reality TV Island and play the mini games. Now, if this island were to ever come back to Pop Tropical Worlds, there's not a lot of possible changes that the Pop Tropical creators can do. Mainly one change can be how to get into the reality TV game show. One idea I have is that maybe you have to buy the application to the reality TV game show and you need to find some money in order to buy the application. Another change is pretty much going to change the mini games and I have three ways how this might work. One, they add more mini games. Two, they remove some mini games and replace them with new ones. Or three, all the mini games would stay the same and only get like a few small changes. Final note, you know how some of the contestants in reality TV are like in other islands like Dr. Hair and Ned Noodlehead and Black Widow and more? Well, I just have a feeling that they are going to do regular people that we have never seen before and not feature characters from other islands. Like, the Pop Tropical creators are not going to feature the mole people from Crisis Cabins into reality TV. Number 2 Time Tangled Island. This island is one of the oldest islands to come out in Pop Tropica. In fact, it is the third island to come out. What Time Tangled Island is, is pretty simple. A malfunction in time caused by the Palindium time machine has messed up the past. And since the past is messed up, that means the future is also going to be messed up. 
So it is your job to travel back in time and repair the past. And how you are going to do that is by traveling 50 years in the future. Then talk to your older self and he, she will give you a time device. And what is in the time device is different time periods that you have to repair. Pretty much how you repair the time period is a pattern. First, choose a time period and find an item that belongs to another time period. Then, find that time period and give the item you had back. Then, in the time period, you are going to find an item that belongs to another time period. And look for that time period. Then you find the time period and it keeps going on until you repaired all the time periods. Then, travel back to the future once more and the future looks very good. Find your other self and retrieve your medallion. Time Tangled Island is a pretty simple island, but if it ever gets remade, there's a couple of things that can happen. Since Time Tangled Island has a bit of education in it, and Pop Tropical Worlds has the museums in each island, my theory on what the creators can do is maybe in each time period, there can be a small place where you can learn a little bit about the time period you are in, instead of a big museum at the main entrance. Another possible change that can happen is that you know how the past gets messed up because of a malfunction in the time machine? Maybe the time machine broke and one of the people who are fixing it fixed it wrong and the time machine messed up the past. Cause the thing is, in Time Tangled Island it just says the time machine had a malfunction and that's really all. Maybe a little more depth would be better. Also another thing, maybe the time device would be something else, like maybe the time device is a little box that you go in, instead of just this little object. And my number one island that should be remade into Pop Tropical Worlds is Spy Island. The reason why I chose this as the number one spot is because of all of the good spy gadgets and that Spy Island is an amazing island that can use a remake. When you start Spy Island, you go inside the headquarters and meet Director D who tells you that you have to save three spies because they have good information about BAD. BAD has been vaporizing the hair of Pop Tropicans and must be stopped for obvious reasons. So when you... So then you pretty much, what happens next is you try and save all of the three spies. The first spy you save gives you a laser pen and information about BAD. The second spy you save gives you a grabbing bow tie and information about BAD. The third spy gives you ultravision goggles and information about BAD. Before you can enter the BAD control center, you need to go to the BAD Bristo a restaurant and get a cup that has a BAD Pop Tropicans fingerprint on it. Then you go to the BAD control center using the ultra vision goggles to see the lasers that are guarding the control center. Using the glass with the BAD fingerprint on it, use it to get inside the control center. Then, you accidentally set off the security system, but thankfully Director D saves you. Using the information the spies gave you, activate the teleporter, but oh no, Director D was a BAD, not a good guy, and uses the teleporter to control a satellite. You defeat Director D, and he's now captured and put in a cage inside the spy headquarters. Now, here's a few things I want to happen if Spy Island gets a remake in Pop Tropical Worlds. First, I really hope that we get more uses for the grabbing bow tie. If you think about it, the only uses for the grabbing bow tie were to save the spy in the greenhouse and for defeating Director D in the end. The grabbing bow tie was like the most fun item to play around with because it was really like a way how to jump much higher and you also look so much like a cool spy. Maybe obtaining the grabbing bow tie more earlier in the remake would make it so there is more ways for the creators to implement more ways to use the grabbing bow tie. Second is to change the Director D's boss fight. Maybe the boss fight can, instead of smashing Director D in the wall, maybe you use the laser pen to destroy the UFO he is in. 
but since he is moving, you want to use the grabbing bow tie to reach the UFO. Final change that I want is a reason why BAD wants to remove all of the Pop Tropican's hair. Maybe one reason could be that BAD thinks hair looks ugly on Pop Tropicans. Or maybe BAD thinks that there is too many hair salons in this world. Spy Island does not give a reason why BAD wants to vaporize all the Pop Tropicans hair. It would be much better if they gave a reason instead of no reason at all. That's the end of the video, Pop Tropicans. I hope you agreed with everything I said and liked the video. Bye.